Hello, today we're going to make an ear cuff that would be perfect for Halloween, or you can wear it anytime, whatever you want. And don't worry, it's very quick and easy to make, so you have plenty of time. I know tomorrow's Halloween, but you have plenty of time to make it. And for this ear cuff, I'm using about a 10 inch piece of silver plated round German style wire. You, you use whatever wire you want. I'm using eight millimeter, six millimeter, and four millimeter crystals. And for the eight millimeter, I'm using three. And for the six millimeter, I'm using six. And for the four millimeter, I'm using five. I have a piece of black chain here. Now the length depends on how long you want this to hang down from your ear. So you need to decide what length of chain you want and what color. I have a jump ring. I have something to measure with. And normally I would wrap my ear cuff around a paintbrush handle, but I couldn't find one. So I found an ink pen that's the right size. So you're going to need something to shape your ear cuff around. Now I have a spider here, and this came from uh, the spider webbing that you get from Dollar Tree. And you don't have to use a spider, use whatever bug or even a crystal, whatever you want at the end of your chain. Okay, what else do we need? I have my silicone ear to help me shape my ear cuff, and I will leave a link in the description on where you can get these silicone, silicone ears if you want to get some. And for tools, I have a round nose plier, I have a couple of chain nose plier, I have a wire cutter, and then I have this metal punch. Now you don't need a metal punch. Um, I think that if you would heat up a pen or a needle and, and put it through whatever bug you're using, in this case if you put it through the spider, uh, that would make a hole for you and it would probably be something you have around the house. Unfortunately I don't have a lighter so I decided to use this metal punch, but don't think you need one. And I think that's all we need. Okay, I am going to start the ear cuff by measuring out four and a quarter inches. And that's where I'm going to make my first bend in my wire. Now the measurements don't have to be exact just approximately now what we have is we have a, a shorter piece of wire and a longer piece of wire so we're going to flip this around and our next bend is going to go the opposite of our first bend and we're going to use the longer wire for that bend so what we're going to do is go to one and a quarter inches making sure that we do have the top wire that we're getting ready, the long wire that we're getting ready to bend. And we are going to bend it at one and a quarter inches. Okay, we don't need to measure anymore, thank goodness. Now we're just going to make that bend. So now we have this. Now we can tighten these up. Just a little bit. Or not at all, however you want to do it. Tight, tiny bit. Okay. Now this is where our paintbrush handle, our pen, our dowel, whatever it is you have comes in to help us with this cuff. So we're gonna to try to get this in the center the best we can and just wrap everything around. So this is what we have. Yeah, I do much better with the paintbrush handle, but that's okay. Now let's pull these wires back up
and we have something like this. And I'm going to place this back on my pen. And what I'm going to try to do is work out the center as best I can. All right. So I think I'm, I've got it centered. Now we're going to take this wire and bend it outwards. Just like that. Okay. Now I'm going to change this around so I can get to the other side. And we're going to bend that out as well. So we are finished with our pen if I can get it off there we go and this is what we have it's a little wonky fied but throughout this process it's going to get misshapen it's going to get wonky don't worry about it we're going to work on that we're going to fix everything at the end now I'm putting my beads on in a pattern you can randomly put them on do whatever you want but I'm going to go with a four millimeter this is the top of the ear cuff Go on four millimeter, six millimeter, eight millimeter, six millimeter, and four millimeter. Now you can keep going, you can have this top go all the way around your ear. But I'm going to stop here. Now this is going to be a left ear cuff. So I'm going to bend my wire this way. Now at this point, you could just cut this close to the end of your bead and just make a simple loop. But I'm going to go ahead and curl mine a little bit. So I'm going to cut it with just a little bit of extra wire to curl. And then I'm going to curl this. And curl this however you like. Sometimes I get nice curls. Sometimes I get not so nice curls. But just have fun with it. So there we are. And do you see how everything is all misshaped and wonky and crazy looking? We're going to fix it, I promise. Now for the bottom of our ear cuff, I'm going to go with a four millimeter, a six millimeter, an eight millimeter, a six and a four. Now I didn't much care for two fours being together so I'm going to go straight back to another six. Then an eight. Another six. And a four. And that's all I need. So we're going with the left. Okay, I am going to bend my wire down just like that. So we have this strange looking thing here. And I'm going to cut this wire a little bit closer than I did the last time because we're just going to make a loop here. Now don't cut it too small. I have a tendency to cut mine too small and then my loop is very, very tiny. So don't cut it too small. And then we're just going to take our round nose, hope that I didn't cut it too small like I normally do, and make a loop here.
Well, it is a little small, but that's just normal for me. And now I'm going to get my ear, and you can purchase your own ears, um, either on Etsy or eBay. I will leave in the description box, I will leave where you can purchase this ear. And before I shape it, I'm going to go ahead and curl these just a tiny bit inward, just a little tweak to make them a little bit more comfortable to wear. So just a little tweak like that. Nothing major. Now, let's see if we can shape this with our ear. I want it to curl a little. And this is what I mean here. You could go, get this over here. You could go much further if you'd like. And with this bottom, I really want this little loop I made, and I do mean little, to basically come to the lobe of the ear for the chain to hang down. So I think that's going to work for me with right now. We can always reshape later. Now my loop is not facing the correct way, so I'm going to go ahead and spin it around. And as usual, it is kind of small, but we'll, we'll go with it. Okay, I'm going to open that loop I made, and then I'm going to place the chain on there. Believe it or not, we are almost done. So if we get the chain on there. I think my loop became even smaller once I adjusted everything, so don't make my mistake. Get that loop a little bit bigger. It doesn't have to be huge, but it should be bigger than what I've got here. See, the chain won't even go around the bead. Okay, you hold on. Let me get this chain on. Okay, I eventually managed to get my chain on. Now we need our spider. So I'm, since I'm using a spider ring, I'm going to go ahead and cut off the ring part. Watch your eyes. Oop. All right. Okay, so now we just have a little spider. Now I'm going to hang this spider upside down from my chain. And like I said, you could just use a needle or a pen or something to put a hole in this. But since I don't have access to a lighter or anything, I'm going to use this tool. Always so hard to get stuff out after you punch it. I'm hoping that I haven't gotten too close to the edges. Oh, no, not too bad. Okay, let's use our chain nose pliers to open up this jump ring. Place it on our spider. And then on our chain. Now I kind of worried about what direction my, sh my spider should be facing. And you can work out which way creates the spider showing forward. However, I have a feeling it's going to spin around and just do whatever it wants to anyway. So I wouldn't stress over it. But there we go. Let's get our ear back in here. Place our cuff on. Now with these silicone molds, goodness sakes, I love these things. However, they're not real skin. So 
they have a tendency to slip and slide when you're trying to do this type of thing or take pictures or whatever. So we can't expect it to look exactly the way it's going to look on your ear. So there we go. Little spider ear cuff for Halloween or whenever. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And thank you so much for watching.